Well, what does Shanti school? <laughs> I totally forgot what to say there. Okay. I'm well, Jacob. I'm okay. Jacob. This is Mr. Megan. Last week we talked about how we can see the evidence of God's power when he, we look at creation and see all that he made. That's right. And this, You're welcome. Thank you very much. I appreciate it because apparently my mind is fuzzy this morning. <laughs> So this powerful God that we can see all evidence of all around us, he cares for us. How cool is that? It's really cool. Yeah. So, and today we're going to talk about how God is always near. So whenever we, wherever we are, whatever we do, God is always near and God can help us if we just stop and talk to him and listen for him. He's always around us in his creation. Um, let's so we're going to talk about today. Let's see our Bible memory here. Let's do it. And I think I have shown so far that I do not have a great memory this morning. So I am definitely going to use our paper that we've been using. All right. Lord God, you created heaven and earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 17. I had to nice. look at the end. Did you have to look at the end? That's yeah, the one part I know is Jeremiah 32, 17. I'm a numbers uh -huh. person, so I know that. Yeah. The words are harder for me. <laughs> All right, before we go any further, let's stop and pray. For the sun that shines each day so bright. We praise you, God. For the moon and stars that glow at night. We praise you, God. For the seas that help the air we breathe. We praise you, God. For giant turtles and tiny bees. We praise you, God. For plants that give us food to eat. We praise you, God. For trees that shade us in the heat. <clears throat> Sorry, we praise you, God. <laughs> For night and day to rest and play. We praise you, God. For food you give me every day. We praise you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. We praise you, God. <laughs> Amen. That was a long <coughs> one, huh? So before we end a story time, let's have a snack. But actually, I just showed you. I'm going to hide it. Before we have our snack, today I said that in our story, we're going to talk about how God is always near. And let's think about that, how that makes us feel. How does it make you feel, Jacob, um, to think that secure. God is always near? Secure. Yeah. Secure. I like that. Safe. It makes me feel just happy. So the idea that God is always near makes me feel like comforted. So I got to thinking, what else makes me feel comforted? And I wanted to show you. This guy made an appearance, I think, last week. Dale. Yes. And and, do, and for your fast and furious fans out there, Dom, 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 Dolphin Dominic Toretto. Dolphin Dominic Toretto and Dale make me feel super comforted. Sometimes we just like lay down and snuggle with them or sometimes Jacob will come in and like throw one at me and I <laughs> grab it it makes me feel so comforted so sometimes things make us feel comforted and I know what else makes me feel comfortable what else makes you feel comfortable teddy bears teddy bears totally and that brings me to our snack today we're gonna eat teddy bears not really we're no, gonna I eat three and crackers shaped like teddy bears I don't think I'll like the cotton I, I think it would be kind of like dry you're right so instead of eating actual teddy bears let's eat these teddy grains so here's our snack and while you guys start eating your snacks let's head to story time all right see you there Welcome to story time. Today's story comes from the book of Revelations. That's the very last book in the Bible. That's right, Jacob. So the book of Revelation is a story about judgment, but also about redemption, completion, and a new life with God in God's kingdom. So you can also find this story on page 314 of your Shine Bible. Sorry about that, Bob. That's okay. That's okay. So we're going to start. There was a follower of Jesus, and his name was John. And he was living on an island called Potmos, far away from his family and friends. But while he was alone on this island, an angel 
showed John a wonderful world, a world that was very, very good. Wait a second, when you said the words very good, that reminded me of something. What? It reminded me of the way that God described his creation back when he, when we told the creation story. That is so right. I love that connection, Jacob. Do you guys remember a few weeks ago, we told the story of creation, which was from the very first book of the Bible, Genesis, and we made these bookmarks to help us remember the creation story. And now we're telling a story from the very last book of the Bible, Revelation. But there's a connection because in each of these stories, we hear about a world that God created that was very good. So in the beginning of our, in the beginning of the Bible in Genesis, it was the creation story when God created our world and it was very good. And today in our story, God using an angel shows John visions of a wonderful world, one that is very good. And this is God's message to us when we feel sad or alone. So his message to us is, God will be with us. God will wipe away our tears. God says, my beloved children, I care for you and there will be no more sadness here. No one will hurt anymore. I will make all things new. Just like when he created our world. Yeah. He will make all things joyful and new. So when John was alone on this island of Patmos, the angel showed John a place. It was a place like a garden. And it had trees, and it has a river, and next to the river, there were the trees and the tree of life, and it had fruit all year round, and even the leaves of the trees in this beautiful place that God showed John, showed John were peaceful. God's love and light will always be with God's people in God's kingdom. I wonder if there was a time when you ever felt sad. And I wonder how, I wonder how that felt. And I wonder who wipes your tears away when you cry. Because in our story, remember, God tells us that he will also be with us, that he is with us in the kingdom of heaven, and he will wipe our tears away. There will be no more sadness. I wonder how John felt when God gave him the vision of the perfect world, like the one he created. That's right, because John was all alone on this island, and then he saw this vision of this beautiful world of God's kingdom. I wonder if you've ever been to a place that looked similar to what God showed John. I actually have been to a place that looks similar. Have you? The um, Botanical Gardens. Oh, yes. That is such a good connection, too, when we go to the Botanical Garden and we get to be surrounded with God's creation. Yeah. I wonder what it would look like if all things were fresh and new. And I wonder what we could do to help our world be more joyful and peaceful like what John saw. All right. And as always, we wonder what you wonder. Let's head to craft time. Let's head to craft time. Know it. Just as the world was perfect when God created it, it would be perfect again in the end. In the middle, not so much. Oh, you are right about that, Jacob. <laughs> we all make mistakes. <laughs> and the world is not so perfect in the middle. But even though we make mistakes and things go wrong, God is all around us. And God is always there. And God can help us make our world a more joyful and peaceful place just like the world that John saw in the book of Revelation. Yeah, that's right. Totally. So that's one amazing thing that God can do is he can make things new. So today we're going to experiment with making things new. Grab, oh, I know. Yes. So grab your um, bags and you each have some Play-Doh in there. 
And first, we're gonna warm up our creativity. Ooh, this is the first time these have been opened, so that's kind of hard. We all have brand new Play-Dohs. Do you want me to, do you want to use this one and all I the got fingers? It. You got it? Oh, it's brand new Play-Doh, I love it. Okay, let's warm up our creativity with some Play-Doh. And let's see if we can make new things out of something old. So, I don't know. First, I'm gonna roll it up in a ball. And maybe I'll roll it out into a snake. I always do snakes because they're just so easy. I know some of you are so creative. Um, hmm, let's see. I can make little eyes. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, Dad would kill you for that. Oh, right? Mr. Jim is not a big fan of snakes. If I had a knife, I could probably carve out a spider. <gasps> no! Oh, that's a good idea, though. Let's see if we can make a spider. Okay, I'm gonna make the body be a circle. Can and I get then, a knife or just, yeah. should I just try to? And then all we're gonna do, we just have to make little legs. So it's super fun for us too. We don't make things new like God does, but it's fun for us to be Look, creative my and make. Is so oh, <laughs> terrifying. I like it. Wait, hold on. What? Use my use my thing for the okay. legs. Oh, that's a good idea. I like it. We can work together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why don't you do that and I'm going to pull out your um, construction paper. Forgot what that was. And we're going to make something new out of just our flat construction paper. And what I'm going to do is it's I'm going to fold it back and forth and back and forth. And also, pro tip, if you forget what it's called, just call it black rough paper. Black rough paper? That totally works. Or pink rough paper. Oh, or pink rough paper. <laughs> or any color rough paper. Or any color rough paper. Yes. Do you ever okay. forget words? Sometimes I forget words. I, forgot I do. construction yeah. paper for a second there. All right, so I used my construction paper. And just by wiggling it back and forth, oh, I made a nice fan. Oh, wow. Right? That's really That's impressive. Pretty good, huh? And my spider's turning out. Your spider is turning out very interesting. So it's totally fun to use our creativity to make things new, just like we saw in our story today. That was super fun. Before we go, let's say our Bible verse one last time. Oh, I'm almost done. Okay. Oh, I like it. Nice. Okay. Let's let Jacob finish the spider. Eight eyes. Do spiders have eight eyes? Yeah. Really? Yes. I have to look back. They, right. they are dull on the top, but. Okay. Well, you finish the spider. I'm going to say our Bible verse with us. All right. Let's see if we can say it. Lord God, you created heaven and earth. By your great power and outstretched arms, nothing is too hard for you. Oh, and this is the part Jeremiah of Jeremiah chapter, chapter 32, 32, verse 17. Love it. Great job, guys. And as soon as you finish that, boom, spider's done. I love it. Finally, I would like to pray for us before we go. Yeah, Let's a pray. little tentacle one. <laughs> God is above us. God is beside us. God is in front of us. God is behind us. Thank you, God, that you are with us everywhere we go. Amen. Amen. Bye, friends. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Wait, come, come next week or, or, the, or else the spider will be in your bed. Oh, no. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. With the little... <laughs> All right, never mind. Never mind. The video ended. All right. Bye.